And the more genetic diversity there is in a population, the stronger that population will generally be. And that doesn't mean that they can't end up with, you know, some disease. Oh, you still or people other. get abnormalities. Right, right. But, yeah, but exactly. we, we learn. We, but that is it. That's exact. They found it with plants three centuries ago, and they realize that's the case now, but it's very, it's disturbing. And so back to this issue of eugenics, where it really came from was a kind of white male insecurity. And they began to say, well, it's in fact, either brawn or brain, mm-hmm, but right. you know, <laughs> yeah, never, never both. And right. so obviously the blacks have the brawn, so we have the brains. But the 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 reality is that it's preposterous because the truth of the matter is back to the larger number of uh variations the stronger the population is. And nature doesn't differentiate between your brain and your muscles. It's humans doing that because unfortunately, uh, there tends to be a, a just as I said, a, a white male insecurity relating to black athletes. Mm-hmm. 